Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. In a discussion some years ago, the question was asked, will God accept someone into his family if their good deeds outweigh their bad? The writer of Proverbs, who is believed to be Solomon, and who is accredited as being a very wise man, and is also he is writing under the inspiration of God, tells us in chapter 16, all the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but God weighs the spirit. Also in that same chapter, we read there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. It has been incorporated within man's thinking since the very beginning that man must somehow do enough good deeds whereby they would outweigh his bad deeds, and as a result God would proclaim him to be justified. Christ was asked in the book of John chapter 6, What works would God have them to do? Christ very clearly stated the work of God is that you believe in me. What Christ is saying is that there is no work humanly possible that can make one acceptable to God. In the book of Hebrews, in chapter 11, it says without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith, as we all know, means to trust or rely on something or someone. In the book of Romans, chapter 3, verses 23 and 24, the apostle writes, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Paul, in the 22nd verse, says that righteousness is by faith in Jesus Christ. In verse 28, Paul concludes that righteousness is by faith without the deeds of the law. Some say this is speaking of the old Jewish laws, but in the book of Titus, it clearly states that reformation, legalism, or any form of ritual will not and cannot give eternal life. The question of our good deeds outweighing our bad was answered by Jesus Christ when he stated in the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 15, Whosoever believeth in me shall never perish. When we trust what Christ has done, his death, his resurrection, as being totally sufficient for the payment for our sins, we are eternally saved and thereby eternally secure. There's an incident in John chapter 13 where Christ washes the feet of the disciples. Peter, not fully understanding this at first, refused to let Christ wash his feet. When Christ explained to him this was necessary, Peter, still not fully understanding, said, Wash my hands and head also, not just my feet. What Christ said in verse 10 of that same chapter speaks to you and I as believers today, as well as to Peter and the disciples. When he said, He that is washed needeth not to be rewashed, only his feet. The meaning here is that one has, who has trusted in Jesus Christ one time is saved forever, but needs by prayer to stay in fellowship. This is the security that we have in Jesus. We are saved forever and now have through prayer, fellowship, and reading the Bible, have fellowship with him. Again, this has been Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. I'd like to invite each and every one of you to our services at 9 a.m. on Sunday and Wednesday night at 7 p.m. If anyone for any reason would like to speak with me, I can be reached at 326-5972. Until next week, may the grace and love of God become more and more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now, and thank you for listening.